Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is that time of year when I plan out my entire year of meals in one day. And typically I would do it in one sitting, but it kind of depends on how long my kids nap for, if I can get it all done now, or if I need to come back to this later. So we will see how this goes. If any of you have seen the video I did last year on meal planning for my entire year, you'll know that I had to do it in a couple sittings, but it still all got done in one day. And I am planning on doing the same thing this year. This video will also be the conclusion of our easy meal planning series. And I couldn't think of a better way to wrap things up than by showing you guys how you can bring all of these little steps that we have been doing along the way together and create the easiest meal plan that you can ever dream of. So if you have already seen that video that I did for our 2021 meal planning, yes, this will be similar. I will be using almost the exact same calendar, just the 2022 version, but there will also be some things that are different in this video. I will be writing everything in on the paper because that's how I like to reference the meals every week, but I will also be showing you how to use the meal planning spreadsheet that we created in the last lesson and create your calendar right on there as well. So you don't have to have this calendar. You can if you want to. I will link it in the description down below. But if you prefer a digital copy, I will also link in the description down below my set it and forget it meal planning template. And you can easily use that one or you can create your own template if you prefer to do that as well. Now, before we get into all this fun, I do just wanna say if this is the first video you are watching in this series and you want to know how to create your own meal plan for the year, you may want to go back and watch the entire series from start to finish because I show you all of the little steps that I take all along the way to make this type of meal planning possible. I don't just sit down and do it all in an evening and then it's done and it was easy. There are several steps along the way that you want to take so that you can do this step. Because if you just sit down and try to do this all at once, it could be a little overwhelming for you. So I will link the other videos in the description down below and in the cards as well if you would like to check those out first. But for those of you who have been keeping up and are just ready to get started, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, I hope that you aren't just watching this video, but that you are also creating your meal plan for your year right alongside me. So if you want to do that, you do need a couple of things. The first thing that you will want if you are using a paper version is some sort of calendar. Now I use the Amy Knapp Big Grid calendar. And the reason I choose this one is because it actually has a spot on every day of the year for your dinner menu. And I just really like this format. You do not have to use this calendar. You can use any calendar that you want, but you will need some calendar or some place that you are going to store all of this information so that you aren't looking for it down the road. I will link this one in the description down below if you would like to get this same calendar. The other option, if you would like to do a digital version, is you can use the set it and forget it meal planning spreadsheet. And we are going to fill in this section right here today, the calendar portion. And you should have from the last video that we did, your breakfasts, lunches, if you wanted to fill in your snacks page, that all figured out, and your theme nights figured out for your dinners. And the theme nights also, you should have that figured out for each day of the week and which meals you will be doing on which day. So if you don't already have that figured out, go back and watch the last video that I uploaded. Again, I'll put it in the cards and down in the description below, and that will really set you up for being able to complete this video in a timely manner. Now, the other things that you will want to have with you is a pen. And I'm kind of sad because the awesome purple gel pens that I like to use every year have run out and I haven't ordered any new ones yet and I didn't want to put this video off any longer. So I have to just use a regular normal pen this year, but get a fun pen if you have one because that makes the process a little bit more fun. And then you will also want to have all of your cookbooks. Now I showed you guys these last year. These are my favorite cookbooks. I use the Revive Cafe cookbooks because they're all plant-based. They have a picture on every page, which I love. And they're all 
fairly easy. I wouldn't say any of them are super difficult to complete and they all have ingredients in each of the recipes that normal people would know how to find at a normal grocery store. Nothing is too incredibly obscure, but yet he's able to create a lot of really unique recipes. So I have books one through six of those and I really love them. Book five is my favorite. If you're going to just get one, I've tried almost every recipe and have loved just about every one of them. And then I also use Vegan Yum Yum. I really like some of the recipes in this book, but some of her recipes are a bit more complex. So if you don't love cooking, I would say stick with the Revive cookbooks if you are looking for a good plant-based one. But if you like a little bit more decadent meals, Vegan Yum Yum is a really fun one to have as well. And then I also have a binder with a bunch of recipes from my childhood. And I will be using these cookbooks when I am figuring out all of the new meals that I am going to be doing this year. Now, if you already did that, in the last video that we did. You don't have to worry about the cookbooks, but for a lot of you, you may be needing the cookbooks for one thing or another, and it's just nice to have them handy as we are going through this process. So let's go ahead and get into this. I am going to look at, to start off, some of my simple theme nights. And last time that I did this, I know I went one day at a time and I did the entire year for that one day. And part of the reason I did that was because I wanted to show you guys the process, how to use a theme night, and how easy it really can be. But I think this year I am going to try doing a couple of the theme nights all the way through each year. And I'll kind of show you what I mean by that. But before I get started, I am going to set my timer again because I am curious if this will be faster or slower than the way that I did it last year. So here we go, timer has started, we are on the clock. And I'm going to turn to January, this is a 17 month calendar, so I'm going to pass by the first several months and go to January. Now, my easy theme nights, my easiest theme nights for this year are going to be Monday because we are doing a pasta night. And Thursday will also be an easy one, green curry night. Wednesday is gonna be leftovers. So those three are going to be my easiest meal nights for the year. And I think I'm going to try to do all three of those simultaneously as I'm going through the calendar. So I'm gonna go ahead and write in my Monday, Thursday, and Friday night meals right now. Okay, I'm going to pause my time, and with that, I now have three of my days already written in for the entire year. So I'm looking here, and I think that the next two days that I will do, and I think I am going to do multiple days at a time, because that only took me 34, almost 35 minutes to do three of my days. So I do think this is going to be faster, doing multiple days at a time, as opposed to the way I did it in the last video. So I think I'm going to do my Friday meal rotation and my Saturday meal rotation next because those are my next two easiest to do. And I do need to make an adjustment. In the last video, I said that my Saturday theme night was haystacks and we do haystacks for lunch. And I am going to write that down on every Saturday, but I'm also going to write down dips because that is technically my Saturday night rotation. And I want to copy over from my previous spreadsheet all of the dips and kind of just more fun snacky suppers that we do on Saturday nights. And then I will write those in on Saturday as well. 
So I'm going to copy that over real quickly and then I will go ahead and write in those two theme nights. So that only took me 25 minutes to do all of my Friday and Saturday meals for the year. So like I said, I think this is a lot faster doing multiple days at a time. So now I am going to do my Sunday meals and my Tuesday meals. And this will take me a little bit longer just because Tuesday, like I said, is my new meal night and I need to come up with 52 new meals either from my cookbooks or from Pinterest or the internet in general, I guess. It doesn't have to be Pinterest. And I think I will still go month by month doing these at the same time. And we'll just see how long that takes. I will just go through and do my Sunday meal rotation. And then I will do um, four, four to five new meals, depending on the month, for each month at a time. And I am going to make sure on the Tuesday meals that I write down where I am getting that meal from. Since I am not familiar with the recipe, it's quite likely, especially by the time I get to November, December, that I won't remember where I found the meal. So I'm going to write down the meal and either the cookbook or the website or wherever I found the recipe. And as I do the Tuesday meals, I am going to go ahead and go to my spreadsheet, my set it and forget it meal planning template or my meal plan for 2022. And I'm going to go over to my Tuesday tab and I'm going to write in the new meals there and where I am getting them from as well in the B column there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started doing this and I will check back with you guys when I am done. So now I have my entire paper calendar filled out for the year and I'm just going to show you real quickly how you would fill out the calendar on the template if you would rather use that. Oh, and I wanted to stop the timer. Okay, so that took one hour, 57 minutes and 59 seconds. So just short of two hours this time, 
where last time I think it was close to three hours. So it was definitely faster doing multiple days at a time. And if that was a little bit confusing for you, you can go back and watch the other video where I do one day at a time and it's pretty straightforward. This time I just wanted to see if it was a little bit faster and it would speed things up if I did multiple days at a time and I would definitely say that it was. Although it's hard to say exactly if that is the reason that it was faster because it also could be that my theme nights were simpler so it didn't take as long to write each one out. So it'll be interesting to see next year what happens with that and if it actually stays faster or if it doesn't. So the next thing that I want to do is I just want to go into the meal plan calendar on the template and going to put in the dates. So, 2022. Yes. So if I just you put in January 1, 2022 at the top and then just drag it down and it will auto populate those dates for you. Then you go into February and write and then you can just pull that down with this little corner thing and that should populate that as well. I just made each of these, I think 30 spaces just to save me time as I was making the template. Then you would just go into a calendar, either on your phone or a paper calendar, and figure out, okay, so January 1 is going to be a Saturday. So I would go into my breakfast tab on Saturday. I know that that is going to be toast with peanut butter applesauce. Lunch for Saturday at our house is haystacks. And then the dinner will be artichoke dip. So go back to the calendar. So breakfast, that's gonna be a Sunday breakfast. Would be amazing Thai curry tofu. Lunch on a Sunday is in A. And dinner will be pot pie. And what could make this easier too, you can always highlight your weekend days and go up to this little guy here and we will just make it light pink or light peach. So you can easily see that's a weekend. So now I know that I'm going to be starting a weekday rotation. So it'll be oatmeal, eggs, oatmeal, eggs. Lunch will be leftovers. And then I can just pull that down. And then dinners will be, Monday will be my pasta meal. The first one is macaroni and cheese. Tuesday will be chewy Indonesian rice. Wednesday will be leftovers because that's our new leftovers night. Thursday will be green curry. Tofu. 
tofu. And Friday, first Friday, would be sushi. So then you would just know, okay, so that was my week. So this is again my weekend. And you could, let's see, I think we did that color. And you could just go through and write in for your entire year your digital copy of your meal plan. And then you would be done. So that was pretty simple. That was a week and that didn't take me too long at all. And if your meal plan is simpler than mine, it will take you very little time to put all of this into your digital calendar. And then you'll have it done and you could maybe print off a month at a time if you prefer that, or you could print the whole thing off and have it wherever you like to keep your meal plan. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to meal plan your entire year, let me know in the comments down below which theme nights you are going to go with for your family. And I'm sure a lot of people would be interested in reading about that. And I always love seeing the theme nights that you guys come up with as well. If you want to get your hands on the template that I was using for the digital copy in this video, I will leave a link to that in the comments down below. It is called the set it and forget it meal planning template. And it is something that I created just for you guys to help you on your meal planning journey. As always, I'm Cassie with makingtimeforgiggles.com and I make videos all about simplifying mom life with meal planning, decluttering, budgeting, and of course, setting good routines for your household. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, please subscribe down below because I would love to see you on the next video.